Hey guys, uh, this is Icarus. I have a video that I want to make for you guys in regards to creating servers. Um, there's a few, um, there's quite a few videos out there that talk about how to make servers, but there's a few traits that I like, and I'm gonna uh, talk about Google Cloud and some of the things that I find helpful. Um, so with that, let's just go ahead and uh, get started. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, in my opinion is create a project just for servers. I like to keep any th my proxies and servers separate. So I'm going to go ahead and select new project. And I'm going to give it a project here. And um, let's call this servers. All right. And what you'll notice is that it says 22 projects remaining in your quota. So Google gives you a lot of projects to build with, but there's a catch. There's only a certain amount of projects you can attach to billing. So I think it's five. So at some point you have to ask to be able to attach more projects to your billing and they do that pretty easily. Um, so keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and go to create here. And this is gonna take a little bit. All right, so we here we have our uh, project called servers. So if we click on here, we should see servers. And we're gonna select servers. Um, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to create an, we're going to create a server first. And when you first select the VM instances, your compute engine gets ready and that takes a little bit to start. So we're going to go ahead and wait and let, let this run. All right. So, uh, before we start, I want to explain something. Um, now that our instances are up, we can create an instance and we can create a template. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an instance. From that instance, we're going to make an image. And then from that image, we're going to make a template. And what we're going to do is we're then going to go back and delete the instance. So what happens is with licensing is if you have an instance that's that is installed with Windows or, or Red Hat, and that instance is just sitting there, even though it's off, you're being charged for a license. But if you create an image and it's not attached to an instance, you you do not incur charges. So the best thing to do is to to take this approach to save some cost. So we're going to go create here, and let's call this uh, server one. Uh, let's call this uh, main server, and I'll explain why because we're actually going to end up creating two servers. Oh, must be lowercase, sorry. Main server. All right, and we're going to go to US East, where most people are North Virginia. And you're going to keep your location, your zone. And so for bot servers, um, I always recommend that you create uh, four CPUs and up. Um, I never actually, unless you're really running a lot, you don't need more than four. But I find that anything less than four is a little bit slow. Um, but just to create the server, we're going to create two CPUs. And that'll be okay. So two CPUs will give us enough performance to make this not painful. And we're going to go ahead and hit change on your uh, boot disk. And we're going to go down to Windows. And there's different there's different theories on, on what you want. 2016, 2019. Um, I tend to go Windows South, Windows Server 2012 data center because it gives you your desktop. And I keep this uh, standard disk. I don't feel that you need to go to SSD. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to create an image. So we're going to select. We're going to so allow these two. And then we're going to create. And so this server is going to be creating. All right. Now, when the uh, the um, server is up and running, you're going to do two things. You're going to um, you're going to set the Windows password. And when you set the Windows password, you're going to then connect with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select send, set Windows password. Um, 
I'm going to grab that password and then I'm going to connect. All right, so I'm going to cut that out here. All right, so grab the, the Windows password. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, down. I personally like to download the RDP file because I work on a PC. So um, I'm going to click there. And I'm going to hit connect. And th then um, I'm going to paste that password that was given to me there when I did the set the Windows password. All right, so I'm in. Um, you should sometimes have like a Windows Server Manager. Just close out in the top corner and, and you're in the server. All right, so the first thing that I like to do before I do anything besides closing the Server Manager is I like to create an actual account that I like to use. I don't like to use yet the main account with Google. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to go to Control Panel. We're going to go to User Accounts. We're going to select I guess I gotta change accounts. We're going to manage another account. We're gonna add a user account. All right, so let's go through that again. All right, we're gonna right click, go to control panel, uh, user accounts, user accounts, manage another account, add a user account. All right, so let's call this main account. Just give it a name. Now we're going to give this a password and give it a, a hint, so hint, hinty, I don't know, give it a hint. So hit next, we're going to finish. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, click on main account, change the account type, and you want to make this an administrator account. Hit change account type, and now I have an account called main account that I'm going to use to log in over and over and over and do all of my work. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to disconnect. And then the next time I connect, let's say I download the RDP file, even though I already have one. Click here, connect. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the password here. We're going to put main account and we're going to put the pa sorry, we're going to change the account, we're going to change the password here or not provide it, sorry, not change. So <laughs> give the account and, change, and set or provide the password. Wow, I can't speak today. All right. All right, so I've not logged in with main account. The cool thing about this is I never have to change my password. A lot of people don't get this step, so every time they log in, they keep forgetting that password. They keep having to reset it. You never have to do that again. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and uh, install your, your bot do whatever you need to do. Um, Alright, so now I want to go ahead and install Firefox. My Internet Explorer, I'm going to type Firefox here. Okay, I'm going to close. Download Firefox. And we're going to close, close. When I click on here, it's going to give me an error message. Or not an error message, but a message here. I'm going to copy and paste this copy and we're going to go to settings internet options security trusted sites sites and we're going to copy and paste download dash installer cdn mozilla.net hit add and hit okay okay if i click on here it should go ahead and start installing or downloading so we're going to hit save we're going to run it Let's install Firefox. So once you have Firefox, you can, you know, from there that becomes like the bait, the default uh, web browser to use. Um, you can go install Chrome now pretty easily. Um, to me, this is the by far the the easiest way to get this set up. You can go install your bots. Now let's let's do Fog LDN for example. That's not what I want to do. Fog LDN. And we're gonna go to proxy tester. 
and I would install from here. Okay. There we go. So once you know, once you're running in here, you, you skip all the Microsoft crap about the security. Just it's just a pain. Um, I don't think it's really needed for what we do. Um, you know, then I got Fog LDN on the server. And you can install your bots and everything. Now, let's take the next step. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this. All right. All right, so once we're out of it, we're going to want to go ahead and stop. We're going to click here. Hit stop. Shut down instance. If, all right, so we're going to hit stop here. So this will take a little bit. And now that we've now that the server is stopping, we're going to create an image. So we're going to go ahead and select image, create an image, and we're going to call this main server. Or we're going to call this server. All right, and we'll leave this Google Manage key. The source is a disk. And what we're going to do is we're going to select that main server. And we're going to go ahead and hit create. All right, now that the image is done, and may, this may have taken a few minutes to, to, to complete, um, we're going to go ahead and create our instance template. So we're going to create two instance templates. So we're going to do create instance template. We're going to call this main. And let's say this is what we want to do most of our work on. So we're going to select four CPUs. And we're going to change the boot disk to custom image. All right, we're going to hit server, which is the image that we just created. We're going to hit select. All right, and then we're going to do create. So this is going to be the, the main template. We're going to create a second template. We're going to do, this is what we're going to call this main, oh, we can't do that, we're going to cheap. And I'm going to highlight something here. So we're gonna let's look, let's choose four CPUs, like we did before. And we're gonna go to change. And we're gonna do custom image. We're gonna hit server select. All right. So if you notice, if we were to run this server 24/7 for a month, it would be $215. If I highlight this, this is with a sustained discount of $41. So you can easily burn 250 not even running in 30 days. So like, so you, you only use it for a little bit. So it says image usage fee is charged by Microsoft and and billed by Google, right? So you're char you're getting pay you're you're paying as much for Microsoft license as your CPU. Um, so it's important not to leave this running. But what you can do here is um, you can uh, go to manage and you can do, if I remember right, preemptability. We can turn this on. And what does this mean? An instance group created for oh, this is not what we need to know so preemptive VM costs much less but lasts only 24 hours it can be terminated sooner due to system demands if you hit no more what is a pre preemptible instance essentially is um, they so if, if you set this up it will run it will always terminate after 24 hours but it could be terminated before that so if there's a lot of load in Virginia and they need to shut your server off they can shut your server off at any time so I would only run this in low drop instances if you have a critical critical drop I would not use this option but here's the difference it goes down to $148 a month see this they can't drop the license fee, but they can drop your CPU cost. Okay, 
Let me create. So now we have two instant templates that we're not getting charged, but we can start either one of these whenever we need to, and uh, we can connect whenever we want. So this is a cheap one, that's an expensive one. Um, you can always test it out. And then you can also create a different one, let's say main uh, 2 CPU. If you don't need a lot of power, you can do main 2 CPU, select 2 CPUs, select the same image, and now you've created three types of servers. Um, so I hope this helped um, to go over stuff. We created um, an image based off of an install. Um, we can turn these on and off at will. So if you're to if you're to click on this on one of these templates to start off an instance, you click on there, you hit create VM, and your server starts. So let's do that. We'll create VM. Just select a template. You can customize it if you want to. Um, we should create, and your server is up and running. Now, before you end this, before you're done with the servers, you want to delete this. So we're going to select here, we're going to go delete. Because otherwise you're going to incur that licensing cost. that You saw that $100 a month. You want to get rid of that. So that's very, very important. All right, and then when you're done, when this thing's done starting up, you can go ahead and stop it. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped. All right, guys.